episode eight, Get Struck Tuesdays. This is Chris Collins. Let's get right into it with some cardboard art. I call this piece Just So Elusive. One of the hardest lessons to learn in this realm is how fast time flies. Most of us want to live forever for all the selfish reasons. In this piece, the hand is reaching out but can't get a grasp on time. This is one of the new works of art that I plan on bringing to Sundog Art Studios on Main Street. I want to get my art inside more homes and providing less expensive art will hopefully help. I'm really enjoying this particular process of creating. It just feels right. With all the talk about aliens and UFOs lately, I figured I would create a digital art poster about them. I've pretty much always been a believer, so nothing new here. This piece starts out as a simple pen and ink drawing and leads to full color digital art. People wonder why aliens are here. Well, it's pretty simple. They say earth girls are easy, so yeah, they here for your girl. Whether or not she's a precious resource is highly debatable. Either way, consider this a heads up voice. kids recently took a trip to Puerto Rico with their mother. Of course I was worried about them in today's world, but they made it home safe and I'm happy they were able to take this trip at such a young age. Experiences like this make us more well-rounded and I'm proud that they are already starting out life in this direction. Drawing hands has been one of the challenges I've tried to work on. I'm happy to say that I like where I am with drawing hands and use them pretty often in my work. I call this piece in a snap. Most times we want instant results and gratification, but it rarely happens that way. The word being hidden here is patience, something we can all have more of. When creating this cardboard art, I accidentally spilled ink drops on it, and instead of getting pissed off and throwing my work away, I push forward and make it work. For the record, I haven't thrown away any of my art since I started back up in 2016.
My lady and I celebrated one year together, so of course I painted her this watercolor painting. I call it One Year Down. You never really know how long you have. Nothing lasts forever, and nothing is strictly ours. We're just sharing. So with that being said, it's important to never take anyone for granted, because as soon as you blink, they're gone. I'm thankful for my time with you, Haley. Always have been, and I hope to always feel the same. This is one of my favorite watercolor paintings I've ever created. I hope you love it and what it represents. I hope it outlives me and forever holds a special place with you. This cardboard art is probably my favorite so far. Change is inevitable. It can go either way. Hopefully it's for the better. So let's try not to fall into old bad habits. But this piece is more than that. It's also about things not being the same without someone. It's about missing that person and their presence. So it's about change and missing loved ones. I'm really pleased with how it turned out and it's appealing in several ways. There's a message people can relate to, and it pops hard. Thanks for watching.
This weekend we celebrated my daughter's birthday and it was a great moment for her and the rest of us. I love you so much, baby girl. You are the daughter I dreamed of having and I'm so proud of you. Please don't grow up too fast and never forget, daddy is here for you and I always will be. I will always love you and you need to know that. I'm so thankful and blessed to be your dad. Thank you for making me a better father. I love you always and forever. This piece of art is something you should know about if you've been following me and my work long enough. I've been drawing this cat a lot in the past eight years. I finally renamed it, so from this point forward, his name is Jenkins. He represents the struggle in this realm. They say cats have nine lives, and he's been on his last life for quite a while. Most of us can empathize because life is not easy. But let us not get stuck in the negative because he still is alive, still living, still biting, still scratching, still loving, always learning. is a house that is haunted. The original owners had a pet goat. In the night, they, they had no fan or AC, so they left the window open and the goat left. Then, a witch saw the goat and changed the goat forever. Only the goat haunts the house, and the goat's soul is the house. So, there was a deck at the top, and this is where the goat murdered the owners by taking them off the deck and then busting their head open on concrete. And also, the stuff in the attic were pretty weird, such as an old mannequin head, a barrel, a future telling thing, and a camera, a gun, a piece of fish that is never cooked, and also, some body parts and the bones. Only the limbs, not the head, not the torso, just the legs and arms and hands. And also, the owner's hands are like grabbing on to get inside, but the goat locks all the doors so they can't get inside because it's just a bunch of windows. And so Alex is the one visiting this place. He has like barely anything to actually survive this place, but he survives the goat and killing the goat forever. So this house would never be haunted unless another person tells the story of the goat. And in the attic, there are also some pictures and the family picture had the goat and then die. Also, there's a piece of paper telling poems, such as, beware of the goat, it will drag you in the forest, then the wolves will eat your flesh. And the goat is standing outside the house, and also, there's a sword in the back to fight the goat. And there is a dining table onto a rug, and 
seems to look very uncomfortable and a dead body laying there, which is actually the chest of a man who lived there and the goat murdered him inside. Also, there was a light switch. I had to end this cardboard heavy episode of Get Struck Tuesdays with a beauty. This is my absolute favorite piece of cardboard art I've created so far. When life gets kind of weird and you feel a little down and unwanted, do like I do and create. Whether you write your way through it or draw or paint your way through it, just create and it will help bring you into a better place. I say it a lot, but art is my therapy and I'd be lost without it. I'm just really thankful. I've been given this gift and I'm blessed to have all the right people and right things going in my life. I call this piece of art when things come together. When it all clicks and you know it was meant to click the way it did, that sure is a beautiful thing. When I'm gone, please remember me by art like this because this represents a moment in my life that brought a smile to my face. A moment in time where I was proud of what I created. A moment in time where I created my way through life and the struggles that come along with it. Thank you for watching, friends. Until next time, if there is a next time, peace.